Hello and welcome and today the topic of discussion is in C programming we will understand program of structure in C. So prior to this we have discussed what structure is all about, how to initialize member of a structure, how to access member of a structure. If you have seen all those two videos of structure it will be very easy for you to understand this program. So what this program is about, write a program to store information of two employees you are given a two employee information and you have to store that in information. So what information actually is are we have included two header file one is string dot h one is studio dot h. So we have created a struct employee having three members one is employee one is id fine one is id one is name name is a character array of size 50 and one is salary uh, salary is of float type fine and now you have created two variable e1 and e2 the moment you create this variable i again i always told you a memory will get created so the moment you create this variable a memory will get created let me make it little more bigger so this will become easy for you to understand the moment you why i'm making it bigger i'll under, make you understand e1 and e2 so this one is e1 this one is e2 these will have three boxes why three boxes because there are three members so first member is id so it will be id second member is name so this will be name and name is a character array of size 50 so this will be of size 50 dot 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 size 50 and third is salary so this will be salary again this will be id this is name name of character array fine dot 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 50 size and third is salary so this is will be salary fine so always try to remember this memory structure once you get clear with this memory structure it will be very easy for you to understand the structures fine now now store the information of first employee so store first employee information e1 dot id this is e1 e1 dot id will have value 101 so what will happen 101 will come here so what will actually happen 101 will come here string copy we use string copy this is the source and this is the destination so copy this value to string copy will copy e1 james to e1 dot name so e1 dot name james will come here j a m e s james will come here fine okay then e1 dot salary will become 56000 so 56000 will be the salary fine so this 56000 will be the salary now i will store the second info employee information second employee is represented by a variable e2 so e2 dot id will become 102 then we have name string copy where, where to copy this at e2 dot name james bond so i'll write james bond i'll simply write i'll not use all different boxes and e2 dot solidity is one lakh twenty six thousand fine okay now this is how you have you know initialize these memory boxes you have you know fill the memory of this in uh, memory uh, of this uh, variable of structure now you are printing those value printing the first employee information so what how answer you will get employee one dot id so you will simply like simply like get employee one id what is e1 dot id what is e1 dot id 101 employ one name colon e1 dot name what is e1 dot name james you will get james employ this is employ one space salary is what e1 dot salary what is e1 dot salary 56 so you will get colon 56,000 and because this is float you will get some zero zero zeros. Similarly you will get e2 employee to these information. So hope you have understood the memory structure of this no memory structure of this structure exactly the memory structure of this structure so that it will become easy for you to understand what i'm talking about so this was about how this structure program is working fine now there is a drawback now there is a very important drawback in this particular program suppose there now you have only two employees what if we have 15 employees what we have if we have 20 employees what we have if we have 500 employees 5000 employees will we keep on writing these again 500 times so this is such this is this is a kind of stupidity fine so we'll not do these things repeatedly again and again instead of that we'll create array of structure we'll create array of structure so in next video we'll understand what array of structure is all about till then i'll say thank you so much